Today, we will discuss why is that some people whom we consider deserving do not get their due recognition. We generally say that good people always suffer more than evil people. But is there a clear definition of good and bad? If not, then how do we know that somebody is a good person? When we see a person is very generous and charitable, we consider him to be a good man. But he may torture his wife at home. His personal life is not known to us. Then does he still qualify as a good man? You cannot actually say who is good or who is bad. Goodness or evil a temporary virtue. It is better to say that a person is favorable or unfavorable for me at present. Sounds harsh, doesn't it? But it's true that you judge people through a colored filter in your mind. This filter is made up by you from your past experiences. As long as the color of that person passes through your filter, he becomes fit for you. When another set of his life does not pass through it, he is no longer stays the same to you. Like most individuals, you too probably think that you are the only good man or woman in this world and strongly believe that many people have taken advantage of you or have treated you wrongly. So you are the victim. Now if we ask other people about you, they may be having a different opinion about you altogether. Now who is correct? You or the people around you? In reality, nobody is correct. You all are seeing the same person that is you through different eyes and the sensorial transformation of your characteristics get distorted while passing through the functional mind. Moreover, this false distorted information is stored in your subconscious mind as sanskara or impression. Then another characteristic of the same you after a period of time will be just based on the new as well as the old sanskaras. Therefore, think that when a child grows older, he goes on storing impressions and the information gets distorted more and more with age. When he thinks that he is matured enough to judge everybody, then he starts to victimize himself in almost all situations. Also, we may argue that we see some people who are close to us have been suffering for years. Maybe some of them do not get any reward from God in spite of all their goodness. You may ask that if there is no punishment for evil deeds, then why should we be try to be one of the so called good people and teach our children the same? First of all, what kind of reward do you expect? Material gain, happiness or just a comfortable lifestyle? All of these are temporary and ends in this life only. You never observe and realize that the lesson learned from the suffering and pain in this life is transcended through many lives of the soul. You are here to perform some specific tasks for the universe, not for your temporary worldly comfort. Your evolution through different paths is necessary and that's why sometimes you suffer. This is a part of your training process to be qualified for the bigger purpose. Your selfish purpose in a particular life is relevant here. You must remember taking birth and rebirth is a complicated process. You do not get new birth as a punishment for your past karma only, but for a bigger purpose of the universe. So each life is very very important to the universe. Do not waste it by judging others, what others are doing. Be smart to understand what God wants from you. If you do not comprehend the purpose, then be patient and have trust on him. Take a back seat and relax. The right thing will happen at the right time. You are not in control. Let God decide everything for you as he knows you better than you know yourself. Accept 
all your sufferings and be thankful to God for what you have so far in this life. Remember, acceptance is the sign of your evolution. You will be alignment with God and feel happily satisfied with your life. Thank you.